Okay, so I just want to share with you guys a little problem I'm having with my boat trailer here. I got a tri-tune. This is a trailer made by Mid-American Trailers. And I just picked it up from storage a few weeks ago. And I noticed when I, uh, when I was, you know, got home with the trailer, I was looking at this little grommet on the trunk here, on the tongue. And uh, it's supposed to be a cable coming out of here. And that is your emergency brake cable. So if the trailer ever becomes disconnected while you're towing it, it should apply the brakes. Here's the cable. I found this all wadded up and stuffed right up inside my tongue there. I don't know if you can see that stuffed up in there so when I had my tongue open here I could see inside of here there was a a piece of the cable kind of shredded in there so I called up the guy who stores my boat whose name will remain anonymous and I said Dave <laughs> anonymous to some extent right what happened to my cable on my boat trailer? And he had forgotten that he damaged it when he was putting it away. Well, what this has led to now is a little frustration on my end. Because a, buying a new cable, installing that, not a big deal. But by leaving this engaged for six months while this boat was in storage, I think has blown my master cylinder. So, I felt brake fluid on the underside of the tongue, and I let him know that, and uh, I opened up my master cylinder here. You can see this plug is usually there. I popped this plug out, grab a screwdriver, and I popped this plug out, check my fluid. And this was bone dry. It has some fluid in it now because I am seeing if I can salvage this master cylinder. I have my doubts. A new one, I called the company, a new one is about $59. But, you know, it's a lot of time. Got to pull the tongue apart here. You got to pull these rings off, right? slide those pins out you got to take a brine a, a brake line loose from up under here i don't know if you can see that up under there you see where the brake line connects you got to get up in there and take that loose and slide this whole mechanism out so i just thought maybe i could share my experience with some of you out there and let you know that if this cable ever does its job or somebody inadvertently pulls it out they are setting your brakes up to, you know putting the brakes on and you'll notice because the slide will be back I can't even get mine to move back that far right at the moment but it was back a ways meaning the brakes were set to all he needed to do was just release this little lever right here if it's gonna show up in the picture right here that little lever spring loaded you just click it brakes would have released but because he probably panicked because he broke the trailer didn't know about the release lever and didn't tell me until I called him he forgot hey we all forget things but if he had told me the day it happened hey I broke your cable I may have told him hit that release lever at least save my master cylinder okay so uh, another thing I wanted to tell you I put some brake fluid in there I doubled up my chains here to create a loop okay made, made myself a little saddle here you could take a piece of wood or a pry bar whatever you have handy I have a big old pry bar here so I take my pry bar drop it in this loop okay bring that against your tongue 
and the chain should slide up a little bit as I depress. You will see this start to slide back. Oh, there we go. Chain's getting situated. See it sliding, 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 sliding. What I'm hoping is to build up some pressure and not have fluid leaking out of my master cylinder. Now, the guy on the uh, phone, when I called him, he told me if I can push that back all the way, that's not good. I'm thinking at this point that may be happening because there was no brake fluid in the system. So I'm waiting for a helper to come out here with me, and I am going to bleed this brake system. Uh, see if I can get it to build up some pressure with no leaks. Maybe I won't have to buy a master cylinder and take this all apart. But uh, if you heard blood brakes on a car, you have somebody hold the brake pedal while you open the bleeder and get all the air out, tighten it up, let off, pump it again, bleed it. Make sure you never run out of fluid in here when you're doing that. Keep checking it once in a while and make sure you're getting your fluid full. And uh, the only difference here on doing a boat trailer is you got to create some kind of lever like I did here and have a helper. They have to you know, press the tongue back to get pressure in the lines. So guys, I'm not trying to uh, solve the planet here or anything. I just, I thought maybe somebody could uh, use this information if they have the same kind of problem as me. Uh, what he said is that this cable got hooked up on his hook somehow, I guess, on his bobcat or his tractor. I'm, I'm imagining it slipped off the tongue and he had that cable wrapped around it as a safety in case it fell. I don't know why he wouldn't use the chains, but I wasn't there. So, okay, have a good day. Hope you never have to uh, go through what I'm going through.